So you're not going to tell Marcus that Justin is his biological father? I don't know, Katie. I mean, Eric is adopting him. He... I've never seen Marcus so happy about anything. I wish I could tell you what to do. I mean, he'd make a good dad, right? I mean, he would, wouldn't he? Maybe you should just sit on this for a little while. I, I can't. I can't. Justin is going back to New York, Katie. I don't know. I... I, I can't, I can't complicate things. I can't. You know, it's best that Justin not know that Marcus is his son. Don has long lost son. Given up for adoption in high school. <sighs> My God. Could it be? Yes, I'm absolutely certain about this. I'll sign the papers and get them right back to you, Gloria. Thanks very much. Gloria is getting you some legal documents? Uh, yes, yeah, she is. Anything I should know about? I've made a decision, Rich. I'm adopting Marcus. Hi. Hey. So let the evening begin. And what an evening it's going to be. So where are we going to go? Cafe Roos? No. Then where? Nowhere. Oh. <laughs> My family. Thank you, Dad. Oh, man. All right, cool. Hey, Mr. Barber. Good to see you again, Marcus. Yeah, um, if you want to speak to Eric, um, he's not in right now. But Actually, I was looking for your mother. Okay, I can call her. I know she's in the office right here somewhere. Let's, so let's not bother her. She's probably busy with something. Oh, okay. So, Spencer, um, you like it over there? Or? It's good. I've been working on some projects, yeah. About Forrester. So that's why you're over here now? Well, that's why I'm in L.A., yes. But currently, I'm living in New York. Currently? Well, it sounds to me like you're thinking about relocating. Very perceptive. Hey, L.A.'s a big city. Yeah. Gotta love our Lakers. Yeah. I've heard. Oh, yeah, you, you're a Knicks fan. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry about that, man. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> you know, I've been reading up on Forrester Creations. Your story's fascinating, Marcus. Discovering your mother after all these years. Yeah, it's, it's been one heck of a ride. I see. Oh, hey, Ma. Marcus, Justin, uh, what's going on here? I just wanted to see you before I left town, and Marcus was here, so... Get a chance to get to know him a little bit better. I see. Why didn't you tell me he was your son?
moment is always just so much going on behind those eyes of yours. At the moment, they're just transfixed by what's in front of them. Usually there's something more. What is it, business? Usually you're right. But not tonight. You're making Donna's son a forester? It's something I've been thinking about for a long time. Dad, has Donna been pressuring you? <laughs> no, no, not at all. In fact, she was surprised when I mentioned it to her. Well, then I've got to ask, why now? I've been watching him, son. Now, he treats this company the same way you do, the same way Thorne does, with, uh, with respect and care, and he watches over the company in a way that only a member of the family would. So you decided that he deserves to be family. He does deserve it, Rich. We should all be proud to embrace him as one of our own. I'm just hoping that you agree. I, I guess it just didn't really come up. But yes, Marcus is my talented son. Who seems to be a Laker fan. No accounting for taste. I'm guessing you also like the Dodgers. Uh, the Mets, they are right. Uh, Yankees, too, for that matter. Mm -hmm. But it's all about that round ball, though. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. You play some basketball, do Oh, do I? Ever since I was five growing up in Texas. Texas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I was raised. Mm -hmm. Were you born there? No, I was adopted. I see. Justin, um, you know, what, what time is your flight? Because L.A. traffic can be really a nightmare. I'm good. You know, just and I play some ball in my day as well. Maybe me and you can play some one-on-one -on -one sometime. <laughs> okay, New York versus L.A.? Okay. All right, bring your game. All right, all right. <laughs> well, look, I got a meeting with Ridge. Um, nice seeing you again, Mr. Barber. Me too. Okay, Mom, I gotta go. Love you. I, I love you. He's a fine young man, Donna. Must be very proud of your son.
You've obviously grown very close to Marcus. But how much do you know about him, Dad? I mean, really know about him. He's Donna's son, Rich. She's known about him, what, a year? What are you saying? You think there's something in his past? Dad, I have no idea what's in his past. I'm just a little surprised that you're so gung-ho about this all of a sudden. And that disturbs you? It would surprise me if it didn't. Your father's decision to adopt me. I can see where you might not agree with it. You've already told him. Marcus and I spoke earlier today. Nick, I, I don't want to cause any trouble with this family. I mean, this family's had enough of that. But I do got to tell you, Rich. I already feel like this man is my father. And it would mean so much to me if I was his son. Yes, I am. Um, I'm very proud of Marcus. You should be. He's very impressive. Well, I'm sure you already know, though, that I had nothing to do with raising him. Well, he certainly adjusted to his new situation. I'm sure you deserve credit for that. Well, Eric hmm. helped. A lot, too. I mean, in fact, the whole family did. Seems confident, balanced. Where I want my son to be. Yeah, well, gosh, he has a great life now. Hmm. So much has happened, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, for both of us, really. I wanted to keep in touch. It was inevitable that we we would drift apart, especially when you went to college. Still have a lot in common. Do we? Both in fashion. Never thought I'd end up in this business. I'm guessing you didn't either. True. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Must have been something discovering Marcus after all those years. Well, you know. One of the scariest days of my life. This young man coming up to me and saying, I, I think I'm your son, but and now he's made me so happy. I see that. I know that's how I feel. did know you weren't the man that everybody warned me about. Because I didn't take advantage of an inebriated woman? <laughs> it's not my style. Although I wouldn't put a halo over my head just yet. Why do you keep doing that? What? Warning me about you. Trying to keep me from getting too close. You can ask me that after what just happened here? I'm not afraid of you hurting me. You're not afraid of much, are you? <laughs> not after what you've been through. No, it's not that. It's just that I know that there's a heart inside this chest. I can feel it beating. It's because of my mom, isn't it? That's why you're against your father adopting me. Donna changed everything for our family. I thought we were past that. We are past it, Dad. At least I am. Not that I wouldn't like to see you and Mother back together, but look, you're in love with Donna and Marcus is her son. So, what are you saying? Dad's decision to adopt you. That's 
speaks a lot of the kind of man that he is. But it also speaks of the kind of man that you are. So, you're, you're not against this? No, I'm not against it. I respect Dad's decision here. But you have to respect what it means to be a member of this family. I will remember that, Rich. Give Marcus up for adoption. I was young. It seemed like the right thing to do. Then not of the blue. This kid shows up on your doorstep, says he's your son. Must have been overwhelmed. Well, it was at first, but you know, Marcus is he's understanding. He's so forgiving. Seems like you have a very close relationship despite your years apart. We do. We do. One that, one that I cherish very much. He's changed your life, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, in extraordinary ways. Mm -hmm. How could he not? A kid like that. Who wouldn't want to claim him as their own? You're blessed, Donna. There's not a day that goes by that I don't realize that. But with that comes responsibility. So, you know, everything that I do, every decision that I make involves Marcus, his needs. That's the responsibility of every parent, Donna. Every mother and father. I know I'd feel that way if I were in that position. I'm sure you would. In fact, being here with you, Seeing your son. I do feel that way. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Where well, you ended things all those years ago. So abrupt. Cutting off all communication with me, I never understood that. But now I think I do. I don't really. I need you to be straight with me. This remarkable young man. Is Marcus our son? Am I his father? Donna, tell me the truth. 